Yeah. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? Sketchy gang, sketchy mob. What it is, what it do. You already know what it is. Now, today I got another story time for y'all. Before we get into that, make sure you guys keep liking, keep subscribing, and all of that. Telling your friends, tell a friend, tell a friend, and all that good stuff. You know, you already know. Echo. Now, today I will be talking to you guys about the time I was chased by the cops, chased by the feds, chased by 5 0. It was crazy, dog. It was a crazy day. So, it just started off as another great day at school. Another day of smoke. Okay? Now, just like the um, bomb story, this took place at the same area. So, and I'm not sure what day this is on. I don't remember as vividly as I did the, the bomb story. Because. Yeah, that was a that was a <coughs> toxic day. So yeah. So anyway, it's about anywhere between 11 p.m. to about 2 a.m. And I don't remember the time gap. It was the weekend, though. We had class the next day, so okay. So it has to be either Friday, Thursday. It was either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. One of them days. I'm not sure exactly, but that's besides the point. So anyway, we we walked to the park. It's just a regular old day. We think ain't nobody finna be there because usually when we get up there, don't nobody be up there. It'd be like either kids, then if it's kids, then we'll wait for them to leave. Or it's a couple of other people from school or some grown folk or something that ain't gonna say too much or nothing. So, not like I said, that's how we usually be. But today, for some reason, it was cracking up there. It was about four or five groups of people. Some of them were from school, went to the park with us, and some of them were not. It was it was a bunch of people, but a bunch of the people we knew. <clears throat> but we ain't wanna we ain't wanna do nothing with them because we ain't know we ain't know how they was gonna react or nothing. So we just sat down. <clears throat> we just sat down with a little group of the people that we messed with, and we we just we just know we, we just did what we did. He was smoking or whatever. Then. The cops, some one of my guys saw the cops riding by. We didn't know if it was coming for us or not, but they was they was lurking around the area that whole day. I think this was right around the time the Cubs had won, so the Cubs had won a World Series, so I'm thinking that that was probably why they was out. It was looking, because you know after something that big happens, you know the folks get to going crazy and drunk and all of that. So yeah. It, they usually be lurking around that area anyway because there's a lot of bars over there because that's a college area so it'd be some stuff happening over there be crazy so, so anyway yeah so we see that we see the cops lurking you see the feds lurking around the area we keeping our eye out whatever while one person you know, every time the other come around make sure ain't no cops coming but i guess it slipped somebody so the cops pull up we didn't think they was gonna stop with us. We thinking they was gonna go about they actually slow down. Stop right in front of a tree. They stood there with the lights on for a minute. And we just sitting there looking we like, is that the cops? What are they doing? They finna get out of the car. They looking at us. They were like, man, don't even trip. They ain't even looking at us. So instantly, we just doing what we doing. They sat there for about five minutes, dog. Doing nothing. They didn't get out the car until about ten minutes later, dog. So they get out the car, they walk towards us, we all instantly drop everything we're doing, we get to running, we get to running, now we was at the park and like straight ahead from where we was at was an alley, but nobody knew that it was a dead end, but it ended up being a dead end, so a bunch of people went to the alley, some people went left, some people went right. So, me being smart, I didn't want to follow everybody else because I know if they get caught, then there's a chance that I'll get caught. So, I went a separate way. Me and a couple of my friends, we went a different way from everybody else. Now, we, um, one of my, a couple of my guys that went through the alley, but they found it was a dead end, but they got out and I found it. They came back and they followed us. So, we hit, so we get to running. We go to the left, everybody else going left. Or went to the alley and they got stuck or whatever. So, we run, we run. We walk, we run around, we run around the cops, they didn't see us, we ran around them. 
they had the flashlights, they was running something, they dropped the weed and all of that, they dropped the, they dropped the lighters and all of that, now one of my friends was super scary, he dropped everything, and then it was some females with us too, so you know they can't run, they tripping, they screaming and all type of stuff, so they dropped all of their stuff, they left purses, they left all kinds of stuff, so we, one of my guys was like, man, I, I went back to go get it, but I don't know if I found it or not. So he, we went back, he went to go get the stuff, and he met us at the part, at another part. We instantly, we got to book, and then on everybody, we went around, and nobody see us. So we went to go hide, like under a Vidoc, you know what a Vidoc is. That's like, that's time of cars under and over. Yeah, so we had under one of them for about 10 minutes. We still hit a cop, though. And then it was cops coming towards us, and a fire truck, so we thinking, we... I'm like, oh my god, Mercury did all of this. Like, dang, man, but they they stopped. And when we found out that the coast was clear, we just walked right past them. We didn't say nothing, so it turns out they weren't there for us. I guess it was something happened in a, a little bar or something. So we run past them. And we just end up at another one of our little spots, you know. So, that was another crazy day, man. I've never been so scared in my life. Now, I tried not to be scared. I mean, I wasn't scared, but I was scared, you know? Like, I tried to keep cool, because everybody else was tweaking, so I had to be the, I had to be the adult of the situation. I had to be one of the calmer people, so me and my guys, we was all calm. The little chicks were scared. Everybody else ran back, left some stuff. I don't, I'm not sure how they got their stuff back. I guess they went back after the cops left. And I don't, I don't, believe anybody got caught somebody somebody might have got caught if i'm not mistaken but i don't know too much like and then everybody we was with we ended up meeting back up with some of them some of them went back to their rooms and it was a crazy day like i ain't never been ch i ain't never think that i would be in the, in the chase before now luckily it wasn't that deep so we got away sky free you know but it is what it is. Moral of the story is, don't run from the cops. Unless you have to. Not run from the cops, run. Not to play. Do what you gotta do. Just be smart. That's all I gotta say. Be smart. If a group of people run one way, don't run that way. Don't all go the same way. Because if one get caught, then y'all all caught. Don't do that. But that's all I got for y'all for today. Another story time. Let me know in the comments if you want these to keep going. I got a couple more stories. Like I said, though, I'm only 19, so I ain't done too much. But I can tell y'all a little something, something. So let me know. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.